Something is on fire. <laughs> Something's already on fire. Okay, so I think the way it actually turns out is I should be loading this through the nose. <laughs> I, I, I think I've got this completely wrong. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've got a huge issue here. I don't know where the heaters are, and I might die. Now we definitely have issues. <laughs> uh, okay, didn't mean to do that. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are checking out this awesome aircraft right here and the cargo that it actually comes with. So this thing right here is a C5 Galaxy uh, that was actually built by Paul, which is pretty awesome because it didn't really take them that long at all to do. And uh, look at it, it looks absolutely fantastic. Anyway, our mission today is to transport two helicopter fuselages from the Arctic all the way down to Harrison Air Base. Hopefully we can do that in one video, um, we'll see. Let's get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so I haven't actually tested this thing out before, so I'm not entirely sure how this stuff works, but let's go ahead and open up the doors, climb up inside, and see if we can open up the cargo door as soon as possible. Here we go, so open nose. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's lifting itself up, pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the lights as well. Deploy stairs, I guess that's just that there. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and fold this down in a second. And that'll be awesome. Yeah. So we're going to lower this down. We've got enough room for both helicopters. We've got a Chinook. And we've also got... I'm not sure what the other one is next to it. But yeah. Maybe a UH-60. Something like that. Pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Okie dokie. So it is pretty much opened. Let's go ahead and lower down the ramp. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it is... Lo oh, wow. That's totally working. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know whether the back end actually opens on this. I'm assuming it doesn't. Uh, unless it does, <laughs> which it looks like it does actually open up. So let me open up this real quick. Uh, open rear door only usable when front landing gear is extended. Oh, what does that mean? Okay, open the door. It's working. It's sliding backwards and the door will... That's sick. That's really, really cool. I'm kind of thinking this is actually the way we actually load this thing up, but... I'm not sure now. I don't know how we load this up. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I think the way this works then is the front ramp you'd actually just drive things onto and load up that way. I think the rear is actually how you actually load up things using these things. Uh, which I think is how we're going to do it, to be honest. So, let's go ahead and load stuff onto there. We'll then drive that over to here. We'll load it on the back and hopefully it'll work. Yeah. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and get inside this thing, yes, uh, I'm assuming it's electric, it is electric, very good. Uh, we're going to attach ourselves to this container, we're going to slide the Chinook fuselage onto it, and then we're going to go ahead and drive to the rear of that, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to load ourselves up. This will be awesome, if this works, that'd be really, really cool. Anyway, reverse is four, let's do it, here we go, reverse up, yes, oh, it's working out guys. It is working out. Excellent. What is brakes? Do we have brakes? Is it a button? I don't know what it is. But we do appear to have stopped moving, so that's good. Alright, let's go see if we can move this forwards now. So, what do we do? Release connectors, brakes. Turn the brakes off. Can I push it forwards? How does this work? How, how does this work? Do I get on here and just push it? I'm confused. It doesn't appear to be doing anything. What does that do? What does this do? Release brakes. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Okay, jump on here. Push it from here. Yes. All right, let's get this loaded. Nice. Oh, it's working. It's totally working. Nice. All right, bring it all the way on. That'd be awesome. There we go. Apply the brakes once we're on. Excellent. And now we drive it to the rear of the aircraft. We attach it straight on. That's amazing. I love it. That's cool. Okie dokie, I've released the connectors. Let's go ahead and uh, I think what we'll actually do is we'll drive this forwards. We will connect onto the one behind us and we'll drive both of them over to the aircraft at the same time. Hopefully that's okay. We should realistically be using that one over there, but never mind. All right, here we go. Go in reverse. Yeah. We'll attach this on and then we'll drive back there. Hopefully we can fit underneath the wing. I'm not sure we will be able to, but we'll see. So reverse this in. Okay, I've missed by a million miles. Hang on. 
Hang on one second. There we go. Right, reverse. Here we go. Reverse that way. Excellent. Yes. Now turn left. Alright, that one's attached. This one's attached. Press 4. Let's go. Oh, they just about fit too. Ridiculous. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's take it to the aircraft. Load them in. That'll be awesome. Alright, so let's drive this over. Hopefully we can actually get underneath this wing. I... It does look like we can, which is lucky because, uh... I wasn't anticipating driving to the back of it. I was only planning on actually getting to the front of it. So, a little bit weird, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, up and down. Let's go ahead and lower it down real quick. So that the rear is actually driving properly. And then we gotta turn this thing around. We gotta do like a 10 point turn. And then attach it onto the aircraft and we should be good to go. That'll be excellent. We might not even need the 10 point turn. It looks like we've managed to turn pretty much all the way around just like that. That's ridiculous. That is actually pretty ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Uh, I haven't extended the front landing gear. Maybe that is something that we need to do. Because I don't think this is going to go under there properly. So let's go ahead and park this right here for a second. And we need to go sort out the landing gear. Yeah. Alright, hello guys. I just wanted to say at this point in the video, if you guys are enjoying this and you do actually like the video, please leave a like down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Anyway, see you oh, there, there. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know what that was. Okay, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and start this thing up, and uh, we'll get going from there. So, cockpit lights, yes. Instrument backlights, yes. The engine pumps, yes. Compressors, let's go. Um, we will put this on in a second, but not right here now. Any collision lights, position lights, uh, open fuel valves, actuate the fuel pumps. I guess that's what that means. Uh, start the compressors, let's go. Hydraulic systems, fuselage, and wings. Okay, is that going to work out? Yes. Okay, it's all on. Excellent. Let's put the generators on. Excellent. And now we're good to go. However, I am seeing a little bit of an issue here. I don't know how to extend the landing gear. Do I lower the front landing gear? I'm confused. I don't know what to do here. Okay, here we go. Gear down. Is that is that going to work? Yes, it is actually lowering itself at the front, raising itself at the back, allowing us to hopefully attach on. That'll be excellent. Alright, so we drive under. Yes, okay, that makes sense. Oh, we do not fit. <laughs> I'm just going to push under anyway, but yeah, we don't really fit under here. Am I supposed to be at the back? <laughs> the more I'm looking at this, the less I'm thinking that this is actually how I'm supposed to be doing this. Yeah, I don't think this is right. Okay, so I think the way it actually turns out is I should be loading this through the nose. <laughs> I, I, I think I've got this completely wrong. I should be loading this through the nose. My bad. Let's go around there and do it that way. Let's do it properly. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this again. There we go. Excellent. Uh, that should be fine, I think. I think we can still load on. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to figure out what to do here in order to load this, but let's go ahead and lower this down. I think that'll be fine. And then we should be able to attach on because this extends forwards quite a bit. Okay, let's do it. We got this. Let's go. Yeah. All right, reverse it up. Let's go. Guys, we've totally got this. It's going to be it's gonna be amazing. Let's go. Let's hope that this actually fits in there. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry. But, you know, I think it will work. So let's go forwards. We have attachment points right there. We can actually see them already. One there and one on the other side. we just got to attach ourselves onto there. And then we should be good to go. So, drive forwards until they attach. Okay, I think I might have missed slightly. <laughs> I may have missed slightly. Okay, reverse it up. Hang on. Reverse it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, press 4 again. Drive forwards. Here we go. Yes, we're attached on. Excellent. Right, is this going to work? Who knows? So we're going to raise up. Oh, have I already raised it up? What's going on here? I think it's already raised itself up. Not sure why, but there you go. So let's jump up here. We'll go around. We'll get to the other side of this. Because that's where the, the brake is. Release the brake. Push it in. Let's go. Oh, this is... Is it going to work? I think it's going to work. That's cool. Oh. Is it going to work? Yeah, okay. It's still going. Excellent. We're going to have to push it off of here, onto there, which worked perfectly, and then we just got to push it in. That's ridiculous. Alright, here we go. Push it. 
Push it! Actually, go with the front one, it's probably easier. Here we go. Push! It's working! Yeah, nice. Sorry, right, cool. And then I think we only need brakes, and then we're good to go. But we gotta push this in quite far, because we've got another helicopter fuselage to come in afterwards. Alright, so keep it going. We're gonna put it uh, actually really far back. Uh, probably towards... I'm dying. We need to turn the heaters on in this thing. Uh, but we're gonna push it pretty much all the way to the back. Here we go. And then we'll turn on the brakes as soon as we get to a nice spot. Like here. There we go. Excellent. Let's go ahead and close this up before anything bad happens. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine. And then let's go turn the heaters on. Because we've got issues. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've got a huge issue here. I don't know where the heaters are. And I might die. Uh, that's like a really big issue. <laughs> Throw a spoiler? No. Okay, roll stabilization is on. There doesn't appear to be any heaters up there, I don't think. No, there is no heaters up there. Uh, I, I don't know where the heaters would be, so we got a problem. Anyway, these generators need to go on. I, I do need to remember that. And we need, we need the heaters. I genuinely don't know where they'd be. I can't get down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Is there a heater thing right here? No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. This isn't good. Okay, I had to sort myself out with some uh, some Arctic gear. There we go. So we're no longer gonna die. That is that is a good thing. However, uh, we we are almost dead. So we need to find a first aid kit ASAP. I was gonna say, luckily, I think I saw one on board. And yes, I did. Excellent. Right, we're good now. Everything's fine now. Okay, so now all we have to do is actually just push this one into the same place. Hopefully this works out. I'm sure it will. Here we go. Uh, it is on a bit of a ramp. I haven't actually lowered this yet, which I should have done, but I didn't. So never mind. But we're going to go ahead and push this on at the same time like we should. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Yeah, put the parking brake on right there. We then go to this side. We jump in here. We raise it up. Here we go. Press 1 for up. Excellent, good. And then we should be able to just push it straight into the aircraft uh, behind that one. Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. Ready? Do that. Let's go. This is sick. This is so cool. Alright, so this one is, of course, a lot smaller. Uh, so I think it's going to be okay to just go wherever it wants. Uh, we will position it pretty close to this one, though, because we should. But um, yeah, there we go. Now, right, we'll leave it there because it got a bit stuck. We're going to attach this onto here if I can. But it doesn't appear that we can, so we won't. Never mind. Okay, put this back. There we go. Guys, I think we're almost ready to take off. That's amazing. Let's disconnect this. We'll drive it away. Uh, we'll move it out of the way. And then we'll we'll attempt to take off. Yeah. Alright, we have disconnected. Press 4. Let's reverse. Is that working? Press... Wait, hang on. Press 3. There we go. We've disconnected. Let's move this out of the way completely. Should be awesome, which it is. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get going. That's sick. That's so cool. All right, here we go. We're almost at a point where we can stop. All right, park right up next to this one. Excellent. And off we go. We're doing it. Okay, can we close this door, please? There we go. That's good. Uh, can I actually get up into the top? Yes, I can. We've left it there. That's good. Uh, so do that and do this. So the ramp's going to come in. It's going to right itself. And then we're going to go ahead and close the, the door, uh, the nose, and then we should be good to go. This is ridiculous. It's working so well. And considering that it, it took them days to build this, it's, it's ridiculous. All right, here we go. I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and close the nose as well. There we go. And then stairs down if I can. Deploy stairs. That's this bit right here. We'll go ahead and uh, jump up there. Open that up. And then we're going to climb up and get inside. Yeah. Nice, alright, we're ready to go, guys. We are so ready to go. Close that up. Alright, everybody ready? Let's get inside of here. Pilot seat. Co-pilot seat. That's RPS to the maximum. Okay, thrust spoiler down. We've started moving. Excellent. I'm trying to taxi my way to the left a little bit, because we're having issues. But we're going to go ahead and take off. Are we already on fire? Something's on fire. Something is on fire. <laughs> Something's already on fire. Oh, no. Okay, I needed to strap it down, it turns out. We uh, we have a fire on board, but I think we're okay. All right, land the gear up. We need to deal with the actual flying first. 
before we do anything else. All right, set this straight south. Here we go, straight south to Olsen Bay. Yeah, around there actually, let's go. Go ahead and whack it straight into there. Uh, okay, I think that's fine. Altitude input, 650, there we go. Okay, we are flying, it's still good. We took off with the biker brake on. Okay, my bad, but there you go. All right, it's climbing to altitude. Uh, autopilot on, sick. All right, so we're lucky that this is actually gonna work out fine. However, uh, I think the fire might have put itself out, question mark? Where's the Chinook gun? <laughs> what? Where's the Chinook gun? We took off with the Chinook inside. We had the back doors closed. The Chinook is no longer with us. And this is. How did that happen? What's going on? I'm so confused. All right, let's run backwards and uh, try and figure this out, shall we? Let's go downstairs. All right, and we'll run back there and see what's actually happening. So this is this is not the Chinook. Where's the Chinook gone? It disappeared. It legitimately disappeared. I don't think there's any rope anchors on this anywhere to actually tie it down. So we did all we could. We just took off too aggressively, I think. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> So I don't know how fast we're going, but it does seem that it is going to take us a little bit of time to actually get to where we need to be, which is fine. Uh, our thrust spoiler's all the way at the bottom, our RPS is all the way at the top, so we should end up getting there uh, relatively soon. I, I'm actually really upset by the fact that we've, uh, we've lost the Chinook. I don't know how that happened, uh, and I didn't actually see it on takeoff because we were in first person, but yeah. Laboratory. Oh, no. It's got... Okay, Paul, it's not called a laboratory. Uh, that's different. Uh, this is a laboratory with a, with a V. I don't know whether it's all in English or not, but yes, that's a fridge. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's not a laboratory. That, that is a lavatory. Okay, interesting. Anyway, uh, right here we have a stove. We have a fridge. We also have an emergency exit right here, apparently. Okay, kind of want to use that. Uh, we might end up using that. We'll see. Uh, we've got a little galley eating area thingamabobby right here. Just an eating area, not a galley. Uh, we've got a little seating area. We have a little wardrobe kind of area. We have avionic systems. That's locked. And we also have this right here, which is a bedroom with two beds in it. And then we get the stairs on the way down. Very nice. We've also got this seat right here, which shows our Y coordinate and our X coordinate. It doesn't actually show anything to do with these screens. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, we've also got this seat right here, which is the flight engineer, which shows us all of the stuff we need to know and how much fuel we've got, etc, etc. So that's good. Um, we've also got something at the back. I want to try and figure that out. Let's go try and figure it out together, shall we? Uh, I don't know whether the stairs or, or the ladders are actually going to work because the, uh, this is in the way, but can we disconnect this? Oh, it's broke anyway. It broke anyway. Right, can we push this backwards? Am I strong enough? No. We need to get up there. All right, let's just fly. Here we go. So we're going to fly upstairs. And, whoa! Hang on, let me try that again. Let me try that again without destroying myself. Hang on. Okay, so we're upstairs in the rear cabin. And if you have a little look around up here, we've got a microwave. I think that's what that is. Uh, we've got a bunch of first aid kits. We also have a bunch of uh, seating for passengers. Very nice. And also, another laboratory. Nice. All right, cool. Um, that's all good. I don't know what to do, though, because now I'm stuck a little bit. Also, there's no lighting up here. Or are these lights? Ah, they got their own little lights. Interesting. Okie dokie. So, let's go ahead and get back upstairs in here. We have a bunch of other buttons that I do want to press uh, that is going to make this flight a hell of a lot more interesting. Let's close this up. There are four buttons on this wall. Let's close our eyes. Okay, they actually just explode. Just like that. Ridiculous, but okay. And they do seem to be powering down. Okay. Two engines have exploded. <laughs> nice. Very nice. 
Uh, but they don't appear to be on fire. That's weird. That's really strange. All right, so as it turns out, that doesn't actually, uh, that doesn't mean anything. So, um, yeah, that's good. Can I also just do it again? Hang on, can we just... Let's have a little look and see what we've actually done here. So, we have destroyed it a little bit. But not really, because it's still actually completely fine. How weird. How very, very peculiar... Oh, no, it is actually going down this time. Oh, now we've got issues. Okay, now we definitely have issues. <laughs> uh, okay, didn't mean to do that. I mean, I did, but it seemed to be flying fine on two engines. So I figured, why wouldn't we take up? Am I dead? <laughs> Am I dead? No. Okay. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, that is definitely not fine, though. Yeah. That's going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. Sag. You know what? Ah. Uh I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought the engines were still fine, even though I exploded them. I probably shouldn't have thought that, but whatever, I guess. That is cool. What an awesome aircraft. That is really, really awesome. Um, side note, I want to go back to the start and see where we left the, uh, the Chinook. I need to figure that out. All right, so we're back here. We've obviously got that there. Yeah, we got that right there. Where's the Chinook? Where is it? Did I drop it off the side? Did I drop it when we took off? I. So we started here, we took off, we went sort of wonky right here, that's fine. And then we went upwards. Okay, but it, it has to have just disappeared. Because it's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> the Chinook just disappeared. That's really confusing. How weird is that? Very strange. Anyway. Uh, for right now, I think I'm actually going to end this video here. However, there will be another video on this creation, probably in multiplayer, where myself and someone else take off in the C5 and attempt to aerial refuel it. I think that'll be awesome. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.